Welcome back to JB Reviews. I'm in one of the smallest fifth wheels in the Paradigm lineup. This is the 310 RL, and this is actually one of my favorite fifth wheels. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off the lights on the roof because I want you guys to see these accent lights. So at night or in the evening time, you don't probably care to see those bright lights on, obviously, right? So with Alliance, they do provide these accent lights that you can see above here. And they also have an accent light here and then in the back. And then I have your little sconces on too. So these lights do allow for you to be able to hang out and maybe still read a you know, magazine or something like that without having these blinding lights on the roof on. Now you can dim these down too. Most RV manufacturers do not give this to you. And I want to say Alliance was one of the first ones. And they do that pretty much across the board here with the Paradigm. Special shout out to Paris RV here in Payson, Utah. If you are in the market, be sure to ask for Jessica. But let's go ahead and get into this video. The Alliant Paradigm 310 RL is 34 feet 11 inches long, 101 inch wide body. PVC roofing up top and this does have the wine guard air 360 you have three 13.5 BTU AC units Which is a total of 40,500 BTU of forts air this particular model does have the standard solar package Which is a 320 watt solar panel with 20 amp controller and 98 gallon freshwater tank You have two gray tanks which is totals to 106 gallons and a 53 gallon black tank Starting out back, look at how much storage you have above there. And that's nothing new with fifth wheel. They've always had that. But check this out. You don't normally see this type of storage. And it's on both sides. And they also provide a little area for you to slide like thin things, power plugs and USBs. And these are going to be soft close to even the lower ones. And of course, above, you have that tinted glass. Yeah, this is super nice. And I want to show you on this side, I do have the blind down. This is like a shade and they also provide room darkening too. Now on this side, this is the most innovative fifth wheel brand I've seen. This is something I've always wanted to do on mine because it's literally just wasted space. Now you can cut a hole in the back and then obviously have that storage, but I like that you can use it for the inside. And then look how deep it is too. That's so smart for them to do. And then of course you have your speakers and radio, large television right here, and then storage above. Again, soft, close storage. And this just slides in. Ooh. Only about RVs, you gotta be really careful with some of the stuff here. And then you just have to make sure that this securely fastens in. And then you're good to go. Now there is no storage behind the television, but you can change the direction of it. These drawers are gonna be reinforced and they do provide lights on this huge island. And then check out your sink, no divider. And then check out that storage above. This is gonna be a convection microwave. And look at some of these other drawers. Actually, let me just show this to you first. Look at that. Look how tall that is. Huge drawers. And of course you have the Insignia four burner cooktop, large oven. They call this residential size. And I agree with that. Yeah, this is pretty amazing. You can't turn the lights on up there. You do have pop-up lights down below too. And check out your pantry. They do illuminate this area too. And one thing that Alliance has been really incorporating for 23 is 12 volt refrigerators. And it's huge too. Hopefully you guys can see just the sheer size of this thing. And then down below, freezer chest. And I have not shown you guys the roof yet. So you do have an air vent right here. It's like a max air. And you have two 
Comamog AC units. I think these are 13.5 BTU. And you'll have a third one in the master bedroom. But on this side, most people are going to use this as their like coffee station. And then you have storage here. Or you can just put your phones up here and charge them. And then check out more drawers down below. And this is your control panel for your breakers and fuses. And I think I showed you just about everything inside this kitchen. Like, there's so much to see, really. But that's pretty much it. In case you want to see inside there. This is also insignia. Yeah, this is one incredible RV. And then you have your couch here. It is power. And this does pop down. And there's one more look at your kitchen. And let's go ahead and walk back. You have storage below the steps. Here's the control panel. Be sure to pause it to see more. And then this is how you control that max air and your AC units. And to the left, porcelain toilet. And nice floor space inside of here too. Under counter sink with stainless steel. Medicine cabinet. More storage. I guess I can turn the lights on for you, huh? There you go. Pretty large shower too with a seat. And check this out. Axe light behind that. Medicine cabinet. Love that they do that. Did I show you guys this? I don't know if I did or not. Three drawers on the side. These are not uh, reinforced, but they don't need to be because they're so small. And then walking on back. One thing I love about wide body RVs is the amount of floor space you have. And then if you want to turn these lights on right here, you can also dim these in the master. Power plugs, USBs. Sending on this side there. And storage below. These are the other two chairs for the dining area. I don't think I showed you guys the dining area. I kind of breezed past that, didn't I? And who doesn't like hidden storage? It's not hidden anymore though. The drawers are nice and deep and they're pretty much all the same size as these. So I don't have to open all of those. Television and as I mentioned, third AC unit. They do have a bench here. If you want to take your shoes off. I didn't mention this, but there's no carpet inside this rig too. And you know they have lights in here. They have it on both sides. Washer and dryer prep. Wow. Pretty nice. Alrighty, let's go ahead and go outside and check out some of the features there. Oh yeah, one last thing. Storage there too for your shoes. This is a new design for the front cap and I do have the uh, accent lights on up top. This is the older design for 2022. Now they do use a Kurt Rotoflex for your pin box. This is how you're gonna turn off those docking lights. And check out your storage. Dual battery box. You have your controller for your solar on the side here. They give you a tall door for your propane. I'm sure you can get a 40 pounder if you like, but this is gonna be 30 pounder. You have tall storage and that's in part to the drop frame right there. It's actually a pretty big section too. You have your propane disconnect, solid floor surface, and they do provide lights that are censored. And here are some outlets if you wanna put a TV outside. Spray port right here. And that's great for washing off your steps when you put them inside. And this is something new here. I love this. The first time I saw this was on a Lux fifth wheel. And now they have it on this rig too. Really easy to use and simple. As those side walls and check out your awning. There's a second one back here. And they both have LED lights underneath. 
Here's your screen door. Nothing special. And then they have a porch light right there. Love the white slide walls because that's going to help keep the temperatures down inside the rig. Westlake tires, ST23585-16, load range G, 14 ply, 4,410 pounds of capacity, nitrogen air, Cree 3000 suspension, and power outlet right there. And look at these massive windows. Love the graphics, and I love that the lower part is white too. You don't have much dark colors. And they do allow you to tow with this rig too. 3,000 pounds, 300 pound capacity for the hitch weight. LED lights. And you can put a camera right there. This is a rack and pinion slide. On the other side was the same. Storage for your a sewer hose, spare tire, fresh water dump is right there. Perfect spot for that too because most of that weight is going to sit on the axles of the trailer. You have your low drain point right there, and then this is where you're gonna dump from. Suburban furnace, and I believe this is a 10 gallon. Is this 10 gallon? 12 gallon. This is 12 gallon, 50 amp power. We love the area where that's at. And let me open this up for you guys. So this is your Nautilus system, power and light. And I like that they give you an easy access to your water system. This looks very confusing, but once it's yours, you'll learn it fast. And I like the fact that there's no valves in here. So when you're hooked up to your water, you don't have to worry about pulling those and then water dripping down into them because it does reduce the life of those, in my opinion. They put them down there, which is probably no better because they're a little bit exposed, but I think I prefer them down there. And as far as your leveling system goes, this is how you control it. Great line of sight. And let's take a look at the numbers. Your gross fuel weight rating is gonna be 15,000 pounds. You have two 7,000 pound axles. Unloaded vehicle weight is 12,174 pounds, which leaves you with 2,766 pounds of capacity. Now let's find a truck for this rig that would be a good fit. One last thing, this is a Schwintex slide out. Normally I pick a truck that I've done a review on, but I wanna make this short and sweet. So I do recommend you choose a one ton gas or diesel. I have a single rear wheel configuration for the payload. And this typically means you're gonna probably have to use a lower trim level to get this much payload capacity or choose a gas truck. So if you don't know what GVWR is, this is the gross fuel weight rating and this is the maximum amount of weight that the truck can carry. And I have the curb weight, which is what the truck weighs coming out of the factory, no passengers or cargo. So if you take this number and subtract it here, that's how you get the payload. Now with that being said, I have your passengers and cargo here. I'm assuming a husband and wife, 200 pound male, 135 pound female, and a 60 pound dog, and figure your fifth wheel hitch and any other gear you plan on putting inside the truck. Now if you go on to Alliance's website, I already showed you guys the unloaded vehicle weight when I did the review. So this trailer has a dry hitch weight of 2,530. So I take this number, divide it here, and that gives me rounded off 21%. Keep in mind, propane tanks and batteries are not included, so the weight is gonna go up. Also, if you plan on adding a dryer and a washer and a generator up front, I strongly recommend you get a dually because you could increase the hitch weight from 21% all the way up to 23 or 24%. Now I'm assuming no washer and dryer and generator for this scenario because it's a single rear wheel truck. So we're gonna use 22% of this number. I just added 2,000 pounds for what you saw on the trailer that we just reviewed. Now 22% of this number is this. So that leaves you with 237 pounds of payload when you figure this number minus your passenger and cargo and your hitch weight. So I do recommend a dually if you do plan on adding the washer and dryer and generator, because again, that's gonna really increase the pin weight and you're probably gonna need more capacity. And a dually is gonna have typically about somewhere in this ballpark, depending on the trim level you have. But I hope this was helpful. Be sure to leave a comment below and I'll see you guys in the next video.